they don't recognize a lot of people don't recognize the importance of sleep how much it affects the mood the weight loss the metabolism just again what we've been talking about your view of yourself mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's important and, and, and gratitude is an important practice courtney yes. and i every night but before bed we have a journal where, where we write down three great things from the day before right just to just to, to show some gratitude, it's easy to, to sort of focus on the things you don't have in the areas you're lacking yeah. and, and not appreciate all, all the amazing things that, that we all pretty much take for granted. Certainly, if you're listening or watching this, you know, you, you have internet access and you have, you know, food and water and shelter and heat and air conditioning and indoor plumbing and, and all these kind of great things that, that are easy to take for granted but yeah. there's a lot more energy in, in gratitude in a state of gratitude than there is in a state of lack and and, and you know um just you, you know like you said it, it it's not going to necessarily be easy but, but what, what i told myself was i knew it would take about nine months for me to lose the weight and look those yeah. those nine months are going to pass either way right you know you know right. here it is it's september of 2016 it's going to be june 1st 2017 and where do I want to be when that happens? You know, you know, I, I could either I could either have reached my goal or at least made a lot of progress towards my goal, or I could be in the same situation or worse, and then still staring at the same problem and have having made no no progress towards it. So you know, and 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 then you know, looking back on that, almost six years later now, over six years later from from when I started, it's it's kind of a no brainer, right? Because it, it's one of these sort of asymmetrical. Um, bets, right? You know, because yeah, you put in nine months of work here in 2016, 2017, but here it is still paying dividends six years later, right? So, right. so that effort, that sacrifice provided you keep up with it and keeping up with it isn't as hard as doing it in the first place, but it's harder than doing nothing, right? It's, it's somewhere in between there, but you know, that, that work you put in can pay off for, for years and years down down the line provided you kind of keep the momentum and keep the energy going in that direction and don't look at this as a temporary thing right it's a cliche right. but cliches are often true right i love cliches it's, i think everyone it's, 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 it's not a diet it's so yeah it's not a diet it's a lifestyle change there we go and and, and, and you know it, it's true because it, it, it is you know and, and a lifestyle change involves a diet change too right so it's, it's more than just changing what you eat it's, it's right. changing the way you see yourself on, on a deep level but you know that's not something to fear you're gonna have to leave stuff behind for sure people probably too you know and there's gonna be change associated with this and you know that part of it can can be challenging you're gonna have to break you know your behavior patterns and stop stop going some of the right i i stopped going to the local bar that i was a regular at you know, and, and, and that was a difficult thing. That was one of the hardest parts because okay. now it's not, it's not just changing what I'm eating and all this other stuff. Now it's now I'm, I'm, I'm not getting the, the same social activity that, that, that I would. Right. And, right. and I have this time. And so, so instead of, you know, doing this thing that was a sort of unconscious behavior pattern, hey, it's Friday night, let's go to the bar. Right. Well, now right. it's like, okay, I'm just going to sit here, you know, and it's like, you know, it's, it's so it's, it's, it, it, that part of it in, in some ways is, is harder than anything else, you know, and, and this is the stuff that, that doesn't necessarily get, you know, a, a lot of the headlines on social media, but you know, it's worth it because this is what you have to, to, to go through, right. A evolution is going to be a hard thing for any of us, you know, and the, the caterpillar turns into the butterfly, right. That there's obviously going to be a painful process for, for that mm -hmm. happening. You have, you have to be willing to, to let the caterpillar go in order to become the butterfly. You know, that's, that's right. the only, you, you, you can't have it both ways. So, you know, and, and, and that takes courage and, and that can be a, a really challenging thing is, is letting go of the past and, and embracing a, a new uncertain future where, where you don't necessarily feel comfortable in it. And, and you know, that, that can be difficult for sure, but, but it's worth it and it's, it's worth figuring out. I think you've said two key points. Living in the past and comfort. Mm -hmm. There's actually a famous kind of quote by Lao Tzu which says, if we live in the past, we're depressed. If we live in the future, we're anxious. The best way to live is in the present where it's a gift. Yeah. And that's that's that flow state, right? You know, yeah. and, and and that's one of the reasons that I've come to love endurance sports and 
Um, you know, you, you, you can at some times at least access that, that flow state. Sometimes when you, you're running, you, you're able to like turn your mind off and just kind of be um, swimming in the ocean, for example, is a great place for a flow state because you don't have much time to worry about your day-to-day -day problems when there's actual waves and stuff that, that you have to like, you know, concern yourself with. Um, the, the past and the future obviously are important, but I think what you want to do is be intentional about accessing them, right? And, you know, right. look at the past, learn from the past, right? Correct. You know, and, 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 and figure out what you, what you could have done better. Give yourself credit for, for what you did well, too, because I think that's an, a common thing with, with a lot of people that I see, you know, and I work with is they have a negative self-image and, and these negative stand out a lot more than the positives do, right? So yes. the same way you would encourage an employee of yours or a child or anybody else that, that you cared for and you love deeply, you need to treat yourself that same way, you know? And, and that's how you treat yourself with unconditional love. And, and that's, you know, giving yourself credit for the things that you do well and, and, and learning from your shortcomings, holding yourself accountable for them but not beating yourself up over them, right? And then once you learn these lessons, then just leave the past in the past. Right. And it's, exactly. it's the same thing with the future. It makes sense to, you know, consider the future and to prepare for certain things that might happen in the future, for sure. But then worrying about it and becoming consumed by it, that that doesn't serve you you, you either, right? So, you know, if, right. if you consider something in the future and, and you analyze it and you say, well, sure, but the odds of that happening are, are, are super low, then then just forget about it, right? Like, the, you know, this is why I'm not living in, in, in an old missile silo out in South uh, Dakota or something like that. Like, yeah, sure, I suppose it's possible that, you know, things go 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 crazy, right? And I, you know, but, but you know, if, if I'm not prepared to do that, then there's no sake in worrying about that because it's just going to be wasted energy, wasted anxiety, and it's probably going to be anxiety that, that I feel about other things in my life that I'm just kind of projecting onto this futuristic kind of s s scenario. So, you know, just be intentional with accessing the, the past and the future. And, and like you said, try to stay present in the moment as much as you can because life is always happening right here, right now, right? What time is it? It's always the same time. It's always right now. <laughs> I love it. There's always a time. It's right now. Exactly. Love it, man. That's, that's such a good, like, natural flow, too, just to say it's like, because you're never going to be ready. You just got to start. For sure. Everyone starts as a novice at one point. Everyone starts out with, like, not knowing any skills, you know, and it takes time and dedication to continue to learn. Learning yourself. Learning your triggers. Learning mm -hmm. what causes you to feel upset. Learning what causes you to give up. And then trying to figure out what you can do. And I always focus on what's one thing you can do today for a better tomorrow and a better now more so mm -hmm. as well. Because you can think, once you transition your mind from I can't do this to what can I do, the brain automatically goes through, okay, let's solve this problem. We got a problem now? Yeah. Okay, I see two plus two, let's see uh, four. Mm -hmm. So once we kind of figure out that problem, we can solve it. Yeah, our, our our brains our brains are pattern recognition yes. machines, right? This is Correct. what they do. So, if you know, not to be too crass, but if you've been a loser, right, and and all you've known is losing throughout your life in your life experience, then your brain is going to expect more losing from the things that 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 you do. So, one of the ways you have, you know to to break that cycle is by becoming a winner you know and you can do that by, by stacking up some 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 easy small wins and building momentum toward working on on something bigger right you know one of the biggest things for me was i walked ten thousand or more steps every day for seven and a half years right and, and, and you know it's it's a minor thing walking ten thousand steps one day like you know in the grand scheme of things what does it matter but you do it every day and right. you get the notification about it and you start to feel good about yourself because you set a goal and you reached a goal and you did it every day. You did it every day this year. Right. And you start to see yourself differently because now it's like, okay, now, now, now I I'm goal oriented and, and I am successful. You know, I set these goals and I achieve them on the regular, you know, this is just kind of what I do. This is how you evolve your self image. And again, it's not through talk, it's through action, right? Yes. It, it's good to, to have, 
positive affirmations and speak highly of yourself, that's good. Yes. But, it, you know, it, it, if your actions don't match that, then it's, it's going to be inauthentic. So. Uh